Every single time we go through clear, they call you a minor. Yeah. Bro, I walk she... up and they say nothing, and then you walk up and they're like, you're a That's minor, right? Look 40. Our gate's so far away that we've walked by three Starbucks so far, you know that? Three Starbucks. This is literally a workout. Stop complaining. <laughs> Dude. You sound like a kid in the car. How much longer? We've been walking for like 15 minutes. <laughs> no wonder they think you're a minor. I officially don't like traveling anymore. It must have been 10 videos ago I said, I actually enjoy the process of traveling. I like getting on a plane. I like flying. No, not anymore. It was, a, it was literally the last time we traveled to go to my show. I had a bad airport story, didn't I? Yeah, they lost and your shit. They lost my shit and then blah, 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 this and that. This time, and I guess this isn't really United's fault, some lady left her phone in they started checking everyone's bag because the plane filled up and this lady left her phone in the checked bag no 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 it was a stroller a so she stroller. had to check it anyway she left her phone in the stroller the stroller went under the plane we all fucking sat down and then we were about to leave and all of a sudden we didn't because she's like yo i left my phone in the stroller so they had to i don't know why it took about an hour to get her phone I think they had to unload all the bags under the plane to get the stroller out, retrieve her phone. And in that time period, thunderstorm rolled through. So we had to wait for the storm to pass. That took about another 30 minutes. And then someone else left some kind of medical device in their checked baggage. So then they had to go find that. That took another 30 minutes. Our flight was delayed like two hours in total, right? Two hours. Loki, I had the magic wand in my checked bag, but. Damn, this gonna be my mom car. Dude, why did you spin that thing so fucking fast? James is stupid. <laughs> I went to wrong hotel. She booked me for the Hilton, Woodland Hills. But last time I, both times I stayed here, I stayed at the Marriott. So I just saw that in my Uber and I, I went there. Hotel part two. <laughs> the Hilton is nicer than the Marriott though, to Would be I fair. Spin in circle? You see the Market Express okay, over there? There's Takis, Flaming Hot Doritos, and Lime Hot Cheetos. It's a Mexican's dream. Gary's wet balls. Mm. Ah, you like the new ride? <laughs> I'm nervous. It's a new day. Oh, I feel like such a dick in this thing in a good way. I'm gonna tell everyone I own it. I'm gonna be like, I'm just gonna start lying. I'm gonna be like, yeah, I do real estate. Uh, I trade stock options. You know, grind don't stop. I ain't got shit to say right now. We're going to the gym. I did think it was funny when I like, when I <laughs> rolled down the window and asked the guy if I can get in front of him. And I, I just, I don't know. I feel weird like driving this car because I know that it's not mine, <laughs> but I know that when, like if I if people see me with the top down, they're gonna assume it's mine, and it's like bro, I'm not popping like that, okay? That sound uh, is never gonna get old. I think a little pre cum just came out. All right, I just texted Gary. The thing that I'm scared about, like I've been driving this, like on a on a straight open road, I've been driving it like a dick. But anytime there's like any kind of bump, speed bump, or like if you go into a shopping plaza and it's kind of like elevated a little, I literally go over it at 0.1 miles per hour. And there is like this air suspension and it raises the car up, but I don't really fucking know how it works. Do this thing, when it's, when it's like, there's air suspension that raises it and lowers it. When it's low, it is like this high off the ground. It's fucking spooky. understand how excited I am to show you this place this is where this is where me and Lex came this is where I came like basically every single day last time I was here now nah, I'm a gentleman like that she never opens the door <laughs> bacon egg and cheese fitness omelet because we're influencers and what you got turkey sausage egg and cheese yo sorry Gary I found these in your car and I like them so I've been wearing them <laughs> God, 4K, retard. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's you got it. Do it again. How do you? It's like. Good morning, everyone. Today is a new day. We didn't really film much because 
We went and got kind of fucked up with Gary. I feel like that's a common theme when I'm in LA. Overall, it was a pretty relaxed day yesterday. I hit some legs, Gianna hit some legs. We were in and out of zoo, which I'm not banned from, which was, you know, cool to find out. I was kind of unsure going in there. Damn, the rap kind of did get fucked up. Apparently, Matt Black cannot get rained on. When we went to, we went out to this place to eat and drink with Gary, I just valeted it in the front of the restaurant. And then it rained, because that's my fucking luck. Hey, pop the frunk. But yeah, we're gonna go get some bagels, check out the warehouse. Brother, what are you doing? Give me these keys. You see that little button that is an arrow pointing to the front of the car? You didn't click it hard enough, because it just worked for me on the first try. We're gonna go get some bagels, then we're gonna go to the Young LA warehouse and hopefully catch a lift with Max or Lex or both. Lex is fucking impossible to get a hold of though. Bro, I've realized that my my new method of eating, my new strategy without even realizing it or meaning to, has become one mega dose of calories in the morning that sustains me until the evening. And it's my pre-workout and kind of my post-workout too. And then just another massive mega dose of calories at night. And that's what I've been doing. It is not the smartest, it's not the smartest way to do things, but I just I'm not on prep anymore. So I really don't want to be eating all the time. I like getting all my calories in and like a couple meals and then I just have the rest of the day wide open. Do you remember how often I have to come home to eat? We couldn't do anything because I was always like coming home to eat. They took fruit salad kind of literally and put it on lettuce. What's up G? The man. The myth, the legend. Kenny just bl just literally blurred this entire section. <laughs> no, he can totally show it. It's fine. Oh, oh are those a new block party? Yeah, they're the after party shorts. <gasps> after party shorts? After party shorts. So you switch, so you go to the block party and then you switch to the, the after party, party shorts? Yep. Uh, we're marketing gonna, we're genius. Gonna do we're gonna do a house party soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, super soft. Bro, I know for a fact those are getting stolen out of my closet. Wide neck shit. Oh, I like that way. Turn it around again. Oh, that's like the design on the Immortal Joggers. Oh, those they are They literally sick. just came in today. You see? So, these are cool. Shoulder bags. Mmm. Yeah, those are sick. She needs the drug pocket. Yeah. yeah. Hide your shit for like festivals and shit. I think that would be the first place they would look for drugs if you went into a festival. Yeah, see? Okay. Alright, let me explain this. If you have it on your chest and someone searches it, they're always gonna look in the pocket right here. Right? Mm hmm Nobody goes to look for the pocket here. And it's like I've got a flap on it anyway, mm. but it's a zipper. So, because people would just go to the pocket in the back. That's mm -hmm. why we made a pocket right here that you could put like hide shit in it. Damn. So, yeah. And then there's one back here too. So you can double. This man's looking out for us. This man wakes up at seven. True Sigma grind set. Do you get Do you get eight hours of sleep every night? Hell no. Can you can function on six and a half? Yeah. I've actually been not drinking coffee and it's my energy levels are way better. Really? Yeah, I stopped drinking caffeine. Like I only drink tea in the morning and I don't touch caffeine after that. And then my like my next days are, are like definitely much better because I, I realized like I was drinking coffee like after lunch and it, and it like fucked me like because I was just feeling tired constantly every day because I think I, you don't sleep that well when you like have caffeine late. Like, oh, so you sleep, think it ruins your sleep? Like you sleep, but you don't sleep. You don't get good, good sleep because like, you still yeah. have caffeine in your system. Mm. And I've been realizing like, yes, yeah, so I, I like cut coffee out completely. Yeah. We go, where we go? Workout. We go workout. We go workout facility, we go gymnasium. Me, when I build a gym, and put five parking spots out front, <laughs> and that's where the entrance is, and then there's a hundred parking spots out back, but you're not allowed to go through the back door, so you have to walk around. Yeah. Me when I'm 500 million IQ. I don't know. This band has monkey pox, bro. Look at this. Look at this shit. <laughs> Gay band. <laughs> Half reps. Zero. Zero, zero. <laughs> Hey, yo, you got a skull crusher with it. Yo, why he's so zen? Why he's so meditative? <laughs> That's not range of motion. That NBA young boy was on, bruh. Oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> 
Impressive. <laughs> it's all me. I just had to get that time under tension. It's all about the time under tension. I already know the James fans, little fucking little boys in the comment. Lex is already being so annoying right now. <laughs> Bro has the buffest hands I've ever seen. Oh, it's that meat. This young boy got me going crazy, bro. Young boy playing, and all of a sudden I'm just, and then I'm. That was like Gucci press, bro. That pre-workout got me going crazy. That was that stench press. <laughs> Damn, bro. Get the camera on my fucking face. Me when I simply zoom in. <laughs> camera stays in the same position though, so you listen to me. Illegal 365. Not allowed. Easy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! Sorry. For being in a hoodie. If I take my hoodie off, that's plus 40 pounds, buddy. I want Lex to hit bench PR. But he won't. Like a rep PR. I know he couldn't one rep match right now. Lex, wanna hit rep PR with me? Bench. Fuck no, I can't hit a rep PR, bro. I'm gonna do 225 combine height. Not bad, I wanna put my chalky hands on your little mic. Your mic. I'll just get you one, dude. No, I hate mics. I'm a, I'm a mic. I'm gonna mic strike. Oh, it rhymes. Yeah. I'm gonna mic strike. All right, I'm doing 315. My all time's 13 reps. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do 14. 14 minimum. So it's 20, 17. 20 most likely. That matches my PR, so technically it is a PR. It's just, it doesn't break my PR. He smoked the one weed. I smoked the reefer. It's just something like. You're gonna turn nothing into something? Kenny, spell it out. Something like, something like. That suck us up. That just something like, that suck us up. I was literally 12 years old with Jim Charlie. Joe Linder does his shit. 
submission bro you gotta do like this put chest up high you feel it in chest bro Marin, you literally can't even fucking do this weight literally ever in your life on any exercise. Ball shit. Ball shit. <laughs> ball, ball shit. Fucking Joe He's Linder. like this. He's like, that face you do? It's cool, bro. It's so cool. You, you like, do you use a filter or like, do you just do... <laughs> I'm like, it's just my, chi it's just my chin, bro. Good morning, everyone. It's beautiful here. I kind of want to move here, but I won't. Because it's lib as fuck, TBH. But we met some interesting characters while we've been here. We saw a couple people get into a fight last night. Can you throw that on the screen? These guys were just scrapping. And for all the weird shit I've seen in Houston, I've never seen that. I just walked out from a bar and like right next to the Huracan, you know, settling it like men. Little dude came up to me about yay hi. And he's like, hey, put your camera away. And I'm like, bro, this is my car right next to your, your buddies that are fighting. And he's like, oh, okay. And just put your camera away. Just one of the examples of the interesting things you've seen here. I've also seen a couple people that, you know, are defying gender norms. But for the most part, everyone's been really nice. And I don't know, the weather here, it's just, it's like perfect weather. I love the weather here. So we're heading over to Sidecar Donuts right now. It's apparently the super fucking nice place, like really famous donut place in LA. Weston told me to get it. Weston knows all the food spots, so I'm just gonna trust him with this one. Then we're going to Gold's Gym in Venice, the Mecca, and then we're going to the beach. There's Westy. Your middle name's Stone, right? My middle name's, I think it's cooler than Garland, so. Yeah, Weston right. Stone, Stone is sick. That is sick. Why yeah. do you make your Instagram? He's making a clothing company based on that. What are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> I don't even like donuts, and it's good as fuck. Next one up, we got the maple bacon donut. I just know this shit's about to be good, bro. Have you guys tried this one? It's good. Yeah, it's good as fuck. Sweet and salty. Dude, right up my alley, bro. Yeah. I would have filled someone Sweet, for one of these. Yeah. Look at look at Weston's box. Bro, took like a bite out of each donut. I had to get every single donut to try it. This was actually dope. Shout out to Weston for this idea. Because we could have just gotten donuts, but instead we had like a little mini meetup. Someone drove like an hour to be here. And it was kind of like last minute too. Weston just threw something on a snap last night. And like actually a good amount of people showed up. Put the picture right here. Thank you to everyone who came out. Actually, that wasn't even everyone. That We took that picture after a couple people had left. I was just gonna say, Young LA has to start doing meetups. Like the old yeah. Gymshark pop-up shop days, they gotta start doing a Young LA pop-up shop. That shit would go off. So many people would show up to those, like put Young LA in a little warehouse so people could shop around and then also just like line up the athletes. That would actually be fun, bro. I miss that.